The feral valve system is a closed reservoir overflow system designed to help patients who suffer from poor gastric motility, pain, and bloating. The feral valve maximizes enteral feeding by providing a channel to constantly decompress the stomach, allowing the stomach to fill at its own pace. By providing a reservoir channel, clinicians and patients can maximize enteral feeding and minimize the need for total parenteral nutrition. This video demonstrates the correct way to use the feral valve system. To get started, hang the feral bag on the same IV pole as the feeding container. The feral bag should be the same height as your feeding container. Close both the white roller clamp and the blue clamp on the feral line. Attach the administration or giving set to the feral Y port. Open the white roller clamp and prime the giving set. With the pump in operation, allow the feed to travel a short distance in the up line towards the ferro bag. Close the white roller clamp, open the blue clamp and continue to prime the giving set. Flush the feeding tube before administering feed. Note that if this is a nasogastric tube, be sure to confirm the tube position before flushing. If a patient has a distended stomach, manually decompress the patient's stomach with a syringe prior to the initial use of the feral valve system. Attach the feral line to the feeding tube. And position the feral Y port below the level of the patient's stomach as shown. In order for the feral valve system to work properly, the feral Y port must be at or below the patient's stomach. Ensure both the white and blue clamps on the feral line are open. The feral valve system is now ready to use. When the pump is running, feed will continuously move up and down in the feral line, providing a visual indication that the feral valve system is in use. The feral valve continuously decompresses the patient's stomach, but the feral bag will not usually inflate with gas because it is vented. When administering medication, use the access port on the feeding tube if possible. Close the blue clamp before opening the feeding tube access port. Administer medication and wait 5 to 10 minutes before reopening the blue clamp. If no feeding tube access port is available, Pause feeding. Close both the white and blue clamps on your ferrule valve. Detach the feeding set from the ferrule valve Y port and connect the provided medication port adapter. Open the blue clamp on your ferrule valve to administer medication. While the ferrule valve is in operation, flow to the patient is essentially controlled by gravity. With normal, non-feral operation, pump pressure, 12 to 18 PSI, may overcome and clear occlusions or kinks in the feeding tube. With the feral valve in operation, these occlusions may not be overcome, and formula will back up into the feral bag. If formula begins to back up into the feral bag, close the white roller clamp located on the line above the feral Y port and wait several minutes to determine if the pump can then overcome the occlusion. If this does not resolve the issue and a feeding tube occlusion is suspected, close the blue clamp and disconnect the ferrule valve system. Check for occlusions in the feeding tube. Once the occlusion is resolved, reconnect the ferrule valve system. If a large volume of fluid is in the ferrule tubing and bag after resolving an occlusion, adjust the white roller clamp of the ferrule bag to prevent a free-flow bolus of fluid into the patient. To discontinue the feral valve operation, close both the white and blue clamps on the feral line. Change the feral bag when the feed bag is changed. The maximum recommended use of the feral bag is 24 hours.